Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, it's all about baby skincare. If you're new, new to my channel, I have three kids and my youngest is about seven months old. And I thought I would share the products that I use for my baby after having three kids. I've narrowed it down to just the basics and the essentials. And I know that there's a lot of products out there, so I hope this helps you narrow down perhaps what you need. And if you recommend other products, please leave it in the comments below for others to read. And let's get started. So this is not going to be in any particular order, so I will just jump right in. So the first thing is petroleum jelly. And I use petroleum jelly. I use it with all three kids um, when I change their diaper. After I wipe them, I use petroleum jelly to kind of protect their skin from their pee and their poop. And the one that I get is from Walmart. It's the Equate brand, which is Walmart's brand. This is the cheapest petroleum jelly that there is or that I could find. It comes in a tub like this, 13 ounces. This is the biggest one that they have. And at Walmart, it, it is less than $2. At Target, Target has their Up and Up brand. It's a little over $2, it's like $2.20-ish. And then if you get the Vaseline name brand, which is basically the same thing, you're spending three something over three dollars probably close to four dollars for something like this so if you're looking for this then get it at walmart and it's kind of hard to find this is like one of those things and i will say this in many of my videos it's a baby related item but it's not in the baby section and where you find this um it took me a while to figure it out but you go to like the band-aid section and you'll find this here. So they'll have like band-aids, rubbing alcohol, um, hydrogen peroxide. This is where you're gonna find this for only $2. Um, and this lasts me quite a, quite a while. So this is like a staple. And in conjunction with that, for travel, I have a tube form of petroleum jelly. This is the Up and Up brand. I don't know if, I think actually um, Walmart has an Equate brand of this version, but um, I have the Up and Up brand version and then this is a uh, baby baby petroleum jelly i used to carry like a a small a small um version of this but i actually like this better because it's a little more sanitary and um it's just a little more sanitary and it's and it's easier because if the if the lid pops off while you're traveling it can get everywhere and this is less likely to pop off so i really like this so petroleum jelly is a daily use from day one and I'm going like really stretching this out in terms of skincare because I don't have that many products I don't use that many products for, for a baby but um this is hand sanitizer and I really like this hand sanitizer this is the equate version this is travel size this is probably only a dollar and I really like this hand sanitizers come in all different kind of fragrances and this does have this probably does have some sort of fragrance, but it's very, it's very um, clean and fresh, and it doesn't linger. My mom uses a sanitizer that's like strawberry flavored, and it's it it really stinks. It smells like strawberry shortcake toy, but it like fills up the whole. Like if you use it in the car, it fills it up. But this I really like the. Um, this I really like the scent. It's like quick and easy and it doesn't, the, the kind that she uses kind of like lingers on your hand. It's like sticky. This is not sticky at all. And I really like this. This is uh, vitamin E and I throw this in the stroller. So when we're out and about, particularly if I don't have access to a sink, I will um, use this. Particularly after I, use, after I change my baby and the baby maybe touches parts of the, the public uh, changing table I will use this if I can't wash his wash his hands if I can wash his hands I would do that if I can't then I will use this and next up again it's really stretching it for for baby skincare but it is this paper towel I don't use wipes for the most part if I don't have to I will try not to use wipes and particularly at home I definitely don't use wipes I use this particular paper towel this is the Viva paper towel and this is the packaging I learned about this for my first baby, the pediatrician. Um, we went to visit the pediatrician's office before uh, my firstborn was born, and they had like an informational session on how to take care of your baby because I had never taken care of babies um, before I had my first. And they told me to um, get this brand of paper towel, which is called Viva. And this is, it, it looks like this and it is like this 
it's like this different kind of paper towel and this is kind of like what it looks like it's like stretchy it's kind of like it's kind of like it's like stretchy and it's like really really soft it's not like the kind of paper towel that you need to wipe up spills like um the bounty paper towels wipe up spills on the ki ki uh, kitchen table this is like kind of like a disposable towel and what i do is i take this three and and i bought and i buy the full sheets like this and full sheets are typically cheaper and what i do is i rip it in three and then i create a stack of these with a bowl of water and i use these as my wipes and these are really soft and really gentle and i've used this with my first kid and my second kid and again with my third kid um i'm not a big fan of wipes i rather use water i think that's really all that they need and especially at home when i have like a setup a changing table setup a bowl of water um these paper towels and i'm good to go and this bag costs and this big bag cost me like ten dollars or ten to twelve dollars and probably on sale of ten dollars and it comes with um it says eight eight giant rolls equals 12 regular rolls this has lasted me several months um this can probably last me probably six months more than six months so it's really affordable ten to twelve dollars for that amount of time i've had this bag for probably at least five months already and i still have two new rolls in here so i think it'll last me at least six months or more and in terms of showering um i am a fan of this baby body wash this is by johnson this is their like no more tears teardrop the whole they changed the packaging the bo whole bottle is a teardrop now and even the cat is teardrop the thing i don't like about this in terms of the new packaging is that this looks like the lotion and i have made um, the mistake of buying the lotion thinking that i was buying the body wash so just that's one thing to keep in mind but this is the johnson's skin nourish shea and cocoa butter wash and it used to be called moisturizing wash um, but now it's called skin nourish shea and cocoa butter wash and i really like this this stuff is um the kind this is different than the clear one and I, I always think clear is more clarifying and then this is more moisturizing so it's gentler on the skin i actually use this for myself as a body wash um and i also use this for hand hand soap so i put it in a um like a foaming soap and i think i'm going to do a video on how i make my own hand hand soap hand foaming soap so this i really like and i use this for his head and his whole body and i've used this um probably with all three kids i really like that and now for his hair i think i prevented him from having cradles cap and i think i want to do video on that I, I have like all these video ideas but i think i prevented him from having cradles cap i could start to see the formation of it and i was able to prevent it and for him i used this now i got this at least with my second kid i'm not sure with my first kid because she was born in a different hospital but i did have this with my second kid and i didn't use it with her but with him to prevent that cradles cap i used this now they use this for, um for when he was born like what after he was born and after an hour of skin to skin contact they gave the baby a, then they gave the, that's when they gave the baby a bath they didn't with my first baby i feel like they i had i had her and then they gave her a bath again it was a different hospital different state and then and then i got to hold her or something like that um but with the with my second and third baby i got to have an hour of skin to skin contact and after that hour then they gave the baby a bath did all the measurements etc and then they use this and then they also gave they let me keep this so this is what they use to wash the baby's hair and as i was saying um, i think i started to notice my baby starting to get cradles cap and i use this to make sure to make sure his scalp was really clean so um this the first time always looked like it was hard and it is a little hard but it was soft enough for the hospital to use it on the newborn and i use this and i continue to use this and he's already like past seven months to make sure that his scalp and his any dry skin is cleared from his head um, so it's like it's not itchy for him and things like that so i basically use the moisturizer through uh the the body wash through his hair and then i kind of just like scrub his head with this so i really like this
And last but not least, for my old, two older kids, I use the pink baby lo uh, pink Johnson and Johnson's baby lotion that smells so good. That smells like what you think a baby would smell like. This time around, um, I decided to not use that lotion. I know it's very heavily fragranced. I know baby skin is very sensitive, and we really shouldn't be using fragrance uh, products on their skin. So I didn't use that. I missed out on the newborn baby scent, and I know that some people are like, oh, your baby must smell like such a newborn, and, and because I wasn't using that lotion, he didn't really smell like, have that baby smell, and he wasn't drinking formula either, and I think baby formula also smells sweetly like a baby. He was breastfed, so really he just smelled sweaty slash like lanolin and breast milk. That's really what he smelled like. He didn't really have that like baby smell. But anyway, for his skin, I use this. And this is Cetaphil Moisturizing Cream. And this is kind of somewhat a new product for me in terms of having three kids. Um, I took my, my, my oldest suffers from, or used to suffer from eczema on her hands and her feet and things like that. And we saw a dermatologist when after my second, well, we saw a dermatologist. We saw a dermatologist after, like, after, definitely after I had my second, and um, she recommended that we use this. I was kind of not really onto the bandwagon of using this. She wanted me to use this whole jar three weeks, every three weeks, and this is a lot of products. And there was no way I could use a jar like this. And I remember I was complaining about it on Facebook. And my friends who actually commented on this said that they actually loved this product. So I did end up giving it a try. And I figured, uh, and, I ha and I have enjoyed it since. Um, what I do have to say is that my first bottle, though, I didn't understand it. And what, because it was like, you would scoop it out and it wasn't creamy. Some parts of it were, which were nice, but then some of it weren't. The important thing about this is to make sure that you close the lid tight and that it doesn't dry out. So this is kind of like what it, this is what it looks like. And I'm going to scrape some, I don't have the really dry kind because I used it all up, but this is really what it's supposed to look like. And it's supposed to, it just really just like dissolves in your skin. And it's like that. It is pretty thick. It's not thick, but it's like, it, this is what it looks like. It's not that thick. And it's at least somewhat of a little shine. This is for a very dry, sensitive skin. It is fragrance-free and um, dermatologist recommended. Um, these, it, the ingredient, the first few, in, the first three ingredients is water, glycerin, and petrolatum, which is I think just probably like Vaseline. And it's the, it's the glycerin that kind of makes it that, that oily kind of slick feeling um, and that kind of keeps it locks in the moisture. I always think of glycerin as, um, or at least I always think of glycerin as a water locking ingredient. Um, they often use glycerin the way I think about, I, mean, I think the first time I learned about glycerin was they use glycerin in like protein bars. So I think like Power Bar has glycerin. So like Power Bar uses protein powder, which is very chalky. And if you just like mix it with a liquid, it'll just make it really chalky and really hard. So they mix in glycerin with that to kind of hold the moisture in. And then that's what makes Power Bar chewy. And it keeps that, it makes it chewy and more pliable because it is, is able to hold in the moisture anyway. So that is what this is. And I use this all over his body. And um, this has worked really great. And with my toddler now, he doesn't have full-blown eczema, but she will have really, really eczema-ish dry spots. I will use this on her on those spots, and it will work really good for her. And that is all the products that I use for my, my newborn slash baby. It's not a lot of products at all. Um, I hope this video helps you navigate the whole baby's skincare aisle. It really doesn't have to be complicated. Just choose things that are, if you can, fragrance-free, really gentle on the baby, and you are good to go. You don't have to buy like ridiculously crazy products. Take it from mom who has, who's on her third kid and whose baby skin has been the best of all three kids. 
Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. Please leave a comment down below if there was a favorite baby skincare product that you cannot live without. Um, share it with all of us. Leave a comment below on what videos you'd like to see next. Follow me on social media. I'm mostly on Instagram, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.